it's your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News, back at you with what's happening in the world of boxing today. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. If you hear the sound of my voice right now, just let me know that you have made it to the evening time. And yet, God has gave you another opportunity to continue on being great. Yes, indeed. I'm glad to be up in here in the building with everybody. Lord and God and everybody. It's definitely good to be up in here in the party for show. And yes, indeed, man. Uh, uh, let's uh, go to who's in here already. Let's see who's up in here already. We got Mike. You know, uh huh. He said, Good evening, people. Uh, okay, we got Dr. Lovely in the building. Uh, 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 Melanie. 27 said, Good evening, Jay. Hardcore and the hangout family. Salute and blessings. Old school 868 say, Salute, Jay and Jack. For sure, the boxing menu podcast is in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. For sure, Tanya Vandal Swim Jr. Peace, love, happiness, Thursday evening, Jay family. Showtime, the guy. Justin James, William R and Jess too, Miss Joette, Will Dill is Ariana, Rod, Gregory Pratt, GPD, Bad Girl Promotions, Coaches Uptown, and Jim. Up in Jim. Bonnie Lee has that JC. Say good evening, Jay. Have to hang out. William Old School. Ari. Hashtag JBC. Jay. Of course, Luke Brother. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Good to see the peoples in the building. Ace Boogie in the building. The love doctor. Yes, indeed. What's up, Ace Boogie? He said, love, family. For sure. Always love. Yes, indeed. What else? What else? What else? All right, y'all. Man. Listen here. Let me grab my coffee. Oh, Jesus. My cup running over. Too much coffee in the cup. All right. I'm a warm up. Yes, indeed. I hope everybody's fine. Tap tablet this evening. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you see the topic and title. It says Bob Aaron confirms Stevenson's contract is up next. Fight, man. Yeah, July the 6th. Time is up. He's, and he hasn't said if uh, Shakur is going to re-up with him or not. Uh, me personally, I don't think he will. But anything is possible. Anything is possible. But we're going to find out. But I'd like to know, and do you think we should stay with uh, Bob Aaron? Or do you feel though that he should speak out? Uh, uh, see what else out there. Oh, man, you dig so he can get some of the bigger fights because uh, obviously, uh, he ain't got big fights so far, not yet, not yet. So, uh, I mean, there is definitely opportunity out there for him without a doubt, without a doubt. Hey, uh, well, listen here before we go deep into that, man, we had a uh, unfortunate man, we had a the uh, promoter, Gary Shaw of Gary Shaw Promotion, has passed away, man. Yeah, he was uh, 79 years old, and uh, yeah, he passed away today, man. And uh, I said, Gary uh, Shaw has reportedly died at the age of 79 following a long illness. Shaw worked in boxing from 1970 when he was appointed inspector to the New Jersey State. Athletic Pro Commission by none other than Jersey Joe Walcott. He remained with the NJSC until 1999 when he was appointed Chief Operating Officer of the, prom- of the promotional organization main event and therefore contributed to, among others, the staging of fights, including Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson in 2002. After leaving Made Event 
he established Gary Shaw Promotions in addition to Lewis and Tyson, Shane Mosley, Timothy Bradley, uh, Ronald Winkwright, who went to school with me, Fernando Vargas, Fernando Vargas, Arturo God, Manny Pacquiao, Diego Corrales are among the five fighters he promoted or co-promoted. The larger than life Shaw from New Jersey was often recognized by the track suits he wore while trying to create fights and known as a fine raconteur. An earlier battle of prostate cancer contributed to him speaking openly about conditions and encouraging other men to get back. So yeah, uh, Gary Shaw has passed away. And I tell you what, you know, let's give him his Final 10 count. in peace man for sure without a doubt without a doubt yeah man but, uh, yeah you know uh, I got the final count man uh, we pray that he's uh, watching all the fights he like right man, man for sure uh, we got Jay the boxer in here what's up Jay the boxer good to see you back up in here Yes, and yeah, I believe I went over to TikTok and I followed you for sure. Uh, Lonnie Lee, hashtag JBT say boxing menu podcast. What's good, bro? Yes, indeed, man. But yeah, back to Shakur, y'all. What do y'all think? Man? What do y'all think uh, Shakur is going to do? Do you think that uh, he's going to stick with top prank? I mean, rank. Or do you think that he's going to uh, try to spread his horizons and see what else is out there for him? Y'all, I'll tell you what. Cops up. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. I don't know why I need my mic sound in my mics oh wow are we hearing are y'all hearing double uh double uh, sound or is that just i'm just hearing that is it my audio let me know if my audio is good yeah but what do y'all think man uh, do you think that you is going to stick with bob and or do you think he should stick with bob and or do you think that he should see if uh Golden Boy or Matt Room or uh, PBC is good for him. She said it's going in and out. Well, I tell you what, let me let me just pull that. Up. How about that? Is that better? Okay, it shouldn't be doing. That. What is it really? Tell you what, let me uh, reload.
All right, testing, testing, testing. Is that better? Is that better? Am I back? Testing, testing, testing. If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up if you're hearing me loud and clear. Give me a thumbs up if you hear me loud and clear, y'all. Uh, okay, bet, bet, bet. We back in the game. I'm not in the problems. Only solutions. Only solutions. And I'm glad we got that settled. Ace Boogie said, hopefully he comes to PBC to fight Tank. Me and my homie got a 7K on that fight, and I'm ready to get paid. Wow. Y'all betting 7000 on that fight? Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, if I may ask, uh, uh, Ace Boogie, you do have Tank, right? I hope you got Tank. <laughs> We got hardcore casual in the building 254 what's up hardcore casual back in here for a little bit more huh <laughs> d for the win what up d for the win mm, yeah yeah y'all see what i'm i'm munching on these boston baked beans the good sis got me i'm hungry that's right tank over everybody right Yes, indeed. I'm eating these uh, baked beans tied me over till dinner time. Yeah, I, I put a uh, whole chicken in the uh, slow cooker, some black beans and rice. So you know I can't wait. <laughs> you know I can't wait, without a doubt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it would make it so easy. If they both be on the same side of the street. <laughs> but they still going to have to build that fight up. I think Shakur profile has to be built up a little bit. So BA going to let do bounce with that WBC belt. <laughs> Unless he lose it, unless he lose it on his July the 6th fight, which we don't know who he fighting July the 6th yet. Who y'all think Shakur is going to fight July the 6th? We say give Shakur Frank for the start fight. <laughs> no, is, is it going to be anything left of uh, uh, Frank after Tank finish with him? Is there going to be anything left? I don't know. Why well, I got two stream yards showing right now? That's the problem. But I ain't going to mess with it. If it, ain't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> Price boy 33 say a Mexican. <laughs> For sure. I, I honestly like for him to rematch the guy he just fought. Just to shut people up. What do y'all think? Would y'all like Shakur to rematch the guy he just he just fought? Or y'all want to see him fight somebody new? And if so, who would y'all want him to fight next? Who would y'all like for him to fight next? I need to know. What you laughing about, Price Boy? <laughs> Let me think. Who would I want Shakur to fight at 35? Oh, oh, Cepeda. Yeah, I would love for him to fight Cepeda, man. I wish they make that fight. Him and William Cepeda, man, I would love that. I think it's a good fight. I mean, Shakur beats him. But at least we know he's fighting an undefeated fighter that's going to try to come to win. Without a doubt, man. Polo Day in the building. What's up, Polo Day? Good to see you, my guy. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I would like that, man. Uh, William Cepeda. That would be good, man. Tlaib Cunningham, what would you like? Shakur to fight next July the 6th. I 
I would like for him to fight fight uh, Cepeda. That would be great. Old school said he would like uh, Shakur to rematch De Los Santos. Yeah, I would go De Los Santos or Cepeda. Either one, either one, I would like. I would definitely like that either. Hey, hey, sir, uh, hey, William, have you dropped that uh, video you said you was making? Have you dropped that yet? As a matter of fact, uh, you and I talked about that last night. I think you said you dropped it. I got to go look at it then. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, I mean, Shakur got so much of a bad rap from his last fight, man. It's just terrible. I mean, the fans, man, goodness gracious, these microwave fans are horrible. Horrible. Yesterday, okay. I'll make sure I check it out. I haven't checked it out. Yeah, everything is just one day for me, uh, 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 a whim. You like to pay the two cutting ham? Okay. All right. Old school 868, the Philippines is in the building. I love this a pay to fight also. Yeah, they should make that happen. I don't see why that should be it. That should be the that should be his uh his uh, uh yeah yeah his uh last fight on uh top prank. I mean rank. G Peasy, there go my guy right there. G Peasy, what it do, man? Yes, indeed. Let me, I got to text somebody. I forgot to uh, get in contact with somebody. Let me, uh, where is his, where is he at? What's the day? Today, 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 today. Goodness gracious. I'll hit you after show tonight all right bam okay cool 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 oh i'm texting you and you coming on the show right now as we speak <laughs> that's funny bvo boxing tv i'm texting you as i look up and you're in the channel now that's that's funny that's funny <laughs> We, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, GPs, he say, Shara Whitley, what it do, Queen? Two roses, two roses. Zach Kiss, Zach B in the building, salute. Blessings to the kings and the queens at the chat. Big salute to Hardcore. Back at you, my guy. For show, for show, for show, for show, for show. Cash Sports, the box story. And I didn't get a chance to get over to the box story in the day, but I will be part of the replay uh, re, re, replay crew tonight. Yeah, I'll be part of the replay crew tonight. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I've been on channelman stuff all day today. Elasia, yeah, Feliciano. Been in here before, for sure. I've seen that name before. Welcome back. Elicia Filiancio. I almost got it. Almost got it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a new guy. Been in here before. Been in here before. For sure. But yeah, man, what do y'all think, man? Uh, Shakur. Do y'all think Shakur should stay with uh, 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 Top Prank? Or should he... Uh, See what else out there for him. What do y'all think? Uh, Eliezer Feliciano says Shakur should sign with Eddie Hearn. Okay. Why you feel that he should sign for Eddie Hearn? I'm just being nosy. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> I like Slick Eddie, though. Fast Eddie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eddie, hey, hey, Eddie, make sure you get a bag. I can tell you that much. Yeah, make sure you get that bag of it. Yeah, I was just checking some stuff out. Shout 
check and can I get a hold of the JDT intro and outro? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. He'll keep them busy and paid. Good point. Touche. Can't argue with that. Yes, I think Eddie Hearn is an excellent promoter, man. I'm 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 gonna jump out there. I'm gonna jump out there, man. Y'all know I'm a PBC guy. Y'all know I'm a PBC guy. But uh if you ask me who I think is the best promoter out here right now, I would have to say Eddie Hearn. Yeah, I like Eddie, man. And Eddie knows his merchandise and everything, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He tells he I'm gonna tell you if you talk to Eddie. He can tell you everything about each one of his fighters. He knows everything about each one of his fighters, man. You did. He really uh, has them. He yeah yeah he has them for his he 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 has them as their his interests, man. Yeah 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 yeah. Seriously, man. Seriously. Eddie 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 man. He he about getting his people right and everything, man. Everybody do wants to fight is at top rank. Top rank, really? I don't think top rank got that much merchandise, man. Not not the top people. See, see, I think top rank is a uh, promotion company that's good for starting out fighters, man. Yeah, they're good with uh, up and coming fighters. I've always felt that way about them. You did. But I'm going to tell you, Eddie, he holds on tight to those purse screens, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eddie don't want to make no big fights. He want to just make regular fights. He don't want to do the big fights. Nah, he don't want to take that risk. No sirree, Bob. Eddie do not want to take any risk at all. Nope, nope. You did, yeah, 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 for sure. Now, uh, what he say? Uh, where we at? Where we at? Nine in the dream up in here. What's up, Nine? Cousin Pete, if you will. ESPN might be the next to let boxing go. Wow, man! Don't say that. Oh, no. I mean, boxing and ESPN has been synonymous, man. Yeah, man, I would hate to see boxing doing ESPN, man. Uh, I, no, I don't think that happens, man. I think uh, ESPN been in the game so long, they only going to do what they going to do, and they're not going to push the envelope. Yeah, they're not going to push the envelope, man. They're going to do exactly what they're going to do, no more, no less. They're going to put that budget out, and they're going to stick with that budget. Yeah, for sure. For sure. You did? Yeah, yeah. They ain't going to take no risk. Not no big risk at all. Remo is in the building. He said Eddie promotes to his best ability. He just doesn't have a strong stable. Eddie with ESPN roster, Eddie would shake up the game. Yeah, man, I'm going to tell you. Eddie, Eddie's finally starting to learn just a smidgen more about USA promotions, man. Yeah, yeah, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, Eddie went through some stuff, man, because, you know, one thing about uh, 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 boxing in USA, it's a good good, good old boy uh, uh, type of uh, uh, game, man. And when I say good old boy, I ain't just talking white, you know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about. They all hold on. U.S. promoters, man, they hold on to the game tight. They don't like outsiders, man. Nobody makes it, man. It's three promoters in the USA. It's three. It's uh, uh, PB. Well, PBC is not a promotion company. Wink, wink. <laughs> but you got PBC. You got the uh, 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 zone. Well, you got Oscar, PBC, Oscar, and top rank. PBC, t Oscar, and top rank. Those are the three big wigs right there. 
those are the three big wigs right here in the USA. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Eddie, Eddie, you know, I mean, there's many people that have tried this promotion game and it didn't work. Uh, Jay-Z, Rock Nation, remember that? Didn't make it. Uh, 50 Cent, uh, TMT, didn't make it. Yeah, man, it's like uh, they, they don't let you in, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they'll bleed you dry, you know what I mean? You'll be spending so much money trying to get in. When you finally in, you ain't got no money to make a fight. Yeah, and let me tell you something, man. The platforms are the ones that put the money out. And since the platforms are the ones that put the money out, HBO is gone. Showtime is gone. Where's the money coming from now? Well, Amazon done jumped in the game. Yeah, but I tell you what, <laughs> they say PBC is the dragon slayer, man, because they say that PBC, the ruin HBO, and this is what they say. This is not Jay saying it, but they say PBC done ruin HBO, and they say PBC ruin Showtime. You did? But I, I, I can't believe that, man, because uh, – those those two companies, man, they have their business models and everything. Now, if they didn't do things business-wise the way they're supposed to and handle their business correctly, see, I'm going to tell you what happened is when the fighters started realizing that they are the boss. When the fighters started realizing they are the boss and they started commanding more money, that means the profit for the uh, 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 companies like HBO and Showtime got smaller, starting with Floyd Mayweather. Because remember, Floyd Mayweather was with HBO. Now, once Floyd left HBO, they uh, failed. Then Floyd went to Showtime. But about time Floyd went to Showtime, he had understood the business of boxing by then. And then all the cheering underneath him started doing the same thing and dealing with doing things the same way Floyd did. So that means that that bag that Showtime was getting started getting smaller. Started getting smaller. Because they look, look, at, at one time, the promotion companies, man, they was getting 60, 70 percent of the money. 60 and 70 percent and left the boxer to split all everything up with his promoter, his trainer, his manager, the sparring partners. Yeah. But nah, Floyd was like, oh, no, Floyd, Floyd, once he got with Showtime, he was like, man, if a nickel bag gets sold in the park, he won in. Yeah, if a nickel bag got sold in the park, Floyd wanted in. They said when Floyd fought in Vegas, man, when those last six fights that he had with Showtime, he got a piece of everything. If if popcorn was sold at MGM, if beer was sold at MGM, whatever that was sold in that arena while Floyd was fighting, Floyd got a piece of that. Yeah, 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 man. Floyd was bleeding them dry, man. Floyd was giving them like an 80, 20, 90, 10 splits on it. He like, yo, if I'm getting punched in the head, I need all the bread. Yeah, man. And then all these youngsters started saying, you know what? I'm going to need more than what y'all, I'm going to need a little bit more. I'm going to need a little bit more. What's up, Lewis Hinton? I'm going to need a little bit more. I'm going to need a little bit more. I'm going to need a little bit more. Yes, indeedy, man. And, 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 and they started getting a little bit more and a little bit more to make these fights happen. They became businessmen. Boxers became little businessmen. Right. I agree, Cash Sport. I'm not arguing. I'm happy for them. Because we come from an era where the boxers just got a smidget of the money. But the guys that were taking no punishment at all was walking away with the bag of men. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so crazy, man. 
Hey, you got people like uh, 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 let's get ready to rumble guy. You know how much he's worth? He's worth a half a billion dollars. Let's get ready to rumble. I can't think of his name right now. Somebody put it in the chat, though. Yeah, look him up right now if you get a chance. That guy's worth $450 million. Ain't throw one punch. Bob Earl, plenty of money. Oscar, plenty of money. Al Heyman, plenty of money. Al ain't going to just... If you look Al up, it's say Al worth 15 million. That's it. <laughs> Al ain't showing no. Al been worth 15 million now for the last 20 years. <laughs> Them boys too smart, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You look up people like Leonard Ellaby and uh, uh, Sam Watson, you can't even find their bag at all. So, yeah, they, them guys are smart, man. But, yeah, the fighters now saying, you know what? No, I'm going to tell you, to get a million-dollar purse back in the day was something. Yeah, yeah, Floyd was giving people one million, two million, three million, and that was huge money for people. But Floyd was walking away with 20 or better. 20 or better. Back in shorty. Yes, indeed. Floyd back in was, man, he pulled up with a, with a dump truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Al Heyman, yeah, because he took care of them peoples, man. Yeah, you're right, Troy Graham. Larry Holmes owned buildings that got banks inside of them. But, yeah, that's one in a few. That's one in a few. Larry Holmes is a very astute businessman. Yeah, he owned, man, shoe. We from Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, one of them places. He damn near owned the whole town. Yeah, without a doubt. But that's just two and few. A lot of the guys back from the old age, man, a lot of them didn't get no money, man. Or they did and they didn't know how to, to manage it. But, yeah, you're correct, Troy Graham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember reading all about uh, Larry Holmes. He made excellent uh, 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 money uh, moves, man. Yeah, they said that the bank was paying mortgage to uh, Larry Holmes. The bank was paying mortgage to Larry Holmes, the Eastern Assassin. That's right, Thrill Hill. The Eastern Assassin. Sugar Ray did well for himself as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sugar Ray was the first boxer to make a bill in the 80s. For sure. And, and Ray still got money. Only 2% of boxers today making millions? I could believe that. I don't know what the number is, so I'm not going to sit there and say that I do know. I don't know. But I, you, but yeah, yeah, everybody don't make millions, man. Everybody don't make millions. That is so true. That is so true. It's the top of the echelon, man. And that's why fighters got to fight more often so they can add up that bag, man. Grant Oliver says, I'm trying to be the next Al Heyman. Well, shoot. I, I, I wish you much success, Grant Oliver. When you make it, don't forget about us little people, man. Yeah, yeah, don't forget about us little people. For sure. There he is, Thomas Hill. What's up, my guy? California shorty in the building. My California Connect is in the building. What it is, what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, and lazy. Yeah, I remember Sugar Ray did the 7-Up commercial. Yeah, he did the 7-Up commercial. And remember he had commercial? He even had his son in the commercial with him. Yeah, 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 Ray. Yeah, but Ray had that, man, $1 million smile, man. He had that million-dollar smile, man. He was a pretty boy, man. The women loved him, you did. Good-looking young man. So, yeah, he, he was easy to sell. He was easy to sell. I ain't got time for all that. Your name, Troy Graham. Your mama call you Troy Graham. I'm going to call you Troy Graham. Now, you're getting too far now. You, you, you want to say the experience? Say it on your show now. You're getting too, you're getting, you getting to you. Your mama named you Troy, and I'm going to call you Troy Graham. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> you, you hear him, GPZ? 
Ricky Ham trying to tell me what to do on my show. <laughs> if you want, if you want that, it should say Troy Graham experience. It doesn't say that. It says Troy Graham. If you want the experience added on, put it in your name, Jack. Now, I ain't going back and forth with you about it either. At all. <laughs> Yeah, you better stop bothering me before I get Mama Do to hit you with that 86 blicky. She'll hit you with that 86 blicky. <laughs> Handle your business, Mommy. Handle your business. I tell you what, though. I tell you what. Let's go and see what's happening in the world of boxing today. Let's see what's happening in the world of boxing today. Let me let me let me get over there. Let me get over there. See if anything new done happened, y'all. Anything new? Jared Anderson has prepared for a riot merit by studying Shakur Stevenson. Okay. <laughs> uh oh. The next album has spoken. <laughs> Devin Haney path from Tijuana origins to headlining in New York City. Hey, hey, if y'all get a chance, man, make sure y'all go over to Let's Talk Fashion. Remo them put out a, uh, a, 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 a video, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's showing his reporter skills, man. Yeah, yeah, he went down to uh, 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 Barclay and did a video. Y'all make sure y'all go over there and watch the video, man. It lasts for about an hour, I mean, I mean <laughs> a minute and 12 seconds, man. Yeah, 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 I don't know how he didn't make it a short, man. I don't know why he didn't make it a short. But, yeah, it's excellent, though. Go check it out. Make sure you check it out. Mike Mazik, what's up, my guy? <laughs> he said, I'm just joking, bro. Bro, don't pull a Remo on me. Don't get in your feelings. <laughs> hey, 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 Grant. Remo over there minding his business now. Remo over there minding his business. You, Why you going to go there? <laughs> Y'all crazy up in here. It's how, that's our family do, man. <laughs> Remo say, check it out, y'all. Yeah, for sure, y'all check it out. Make, it, make sure y'all check it out um let me see what else uh what does boxing equivalent to ufc 300 looks like bob aram explains all right let me check one more other place man uh i tell you what let's jump down to what bob aram gotta say shakur stevenson upcoming fight and uncertain futures with top rank Top ranked promoter Bob Arum has confirmed WBC lightweight champion Shakur Stevenson contract with his company expires on July the 6th. In his title defense at the Prudential Center in New Newark, New Jersey, Aaron says he hopes to maintain a relationship with the three division world champion Stevenson 21 and 0 and 10 KOs, but he says it's business. He's not saying if Shakur will re-up for another hitch with top rank or move on to another promotional company. Obviously, Shakur performance on July the 6th could affect whether Aram looks to resign him. Shakur Stevenson was booed on his non-stop in his last fight against Edward De Los Santos in November of last year at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas due to his safety first fighting style. Although Shakur blamed his performance on injuries, he fought in the same hit and not be hit manner in many of his other fights and it was not entertaining. Contracts aspiring, free agency looms. Shakur is fighting on July the 6th in New Jersey at the Prudential Center. We'll announce the opponent re uh, relatively shortly. And we have a great run with Shakur. He's an incredible fighter with incredible skills. But our contract is over with the July 6th fight, said Bob Arum to Fight Hub TV. 
about WBC lightweight champion Shakur Severson next fight date. Well, there it is. Well, there it is. What y'all over there in the chat talking about? Let me see what y'all got going on. I know y'all acting up as usual. Uh, very marketable. I meant Sugar Ray was the first to make a hundred mil. Uh, I knew a guy that fought for $2,500 and he was 10 and 0. I felt so bad. I gave youngster $500 out of my own pocket and he was, and it was, this was recently. Wow. uh what else just a typo mike madden says salute hardcore salute at you for sure um um what else let me see let me see i have to make sure i got see if anything in the chat Grant Oliver, legends don't get washed up. <laughs> uh, minding your business gets you caught up in some SHIT effing with me. Y'all might, y'all my family, love. <laughs> Remo say, damn, Grant, I thought we were straight. <laughs> he says, it's all love, Remo. You know, you, you, you a uh, Don in this shit, for sure. All right, we got International Brown in the building. We want to welcome International Brown to the Hardcore Hangout. Uh, International Brown, we just a bunch of hardcore degenerates that get together and talk about this beautiful sport we love called boxing. We got only one rule around here, International Brown, no hidden below the belt. That means we don't talk about nobody's mom up in here. Other than that, everything else is fair game. We want to welcome International Brown to the Hangout. He said Jake Prince is going to keep him locked in on his side. One thing about Jay Prince, man, he loved uh, Bob Arum. He loved, yeah, yeah, he loved doing business with Bob Arum, man. He'd been doing business with Bob Arum for a very long time, all the way back to when he was when he had Mayweather. Yeah, Jay Prince had Mayweather at one time. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Prince is tight with Bob Arum. This is going to be a very interesting situation. Rest in peace, the juice. Yeah, he passed away, man. The juice is gone. The juice is really loose now. Shakur was fighting like a pussycat against De La Santo. He's scared of contact. All right, we got a new guy in the building. We got Tommy Guns in the building. We want to welcome Tommy Guns to Hardcore's Hangout. We're just a bunch of hardcore degenerates that get together and talk about this beautiful sport we love called boxing. Got only one rule around here, Tommy Guns. No hitting below the belt. That means we don't talk about nobody's mama men up in here. Other than that, everything else is fair game. We want to welcome Tommy Guns to the Hangout. He said you he better watch dude. He can punch hard. Uh, Bob Arum going to let his soft ass go he don't want to bring no money <laughs> grant be on his stuff boy nine days away uh them seats getting filled over at the bar clay that's a strong no <laughs> that's a strong no bruce gas boxing jazz and more my big homies in the building what's up bruce gas Thrill Hill says, so no Navarrete for Shakur? I don't think so. Rest in peace, OJ. You ain't do that. <laughs> he said, top rank treating Shakur like they did Bud Crawford. <laughs> Bob don't care, Jack. Bob want to hold on to his, his, his do re mi fossil la t. You better believe it. Bob, yeah, Bob gonna be the one guy when he uh passes away that they bury a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, uh, Brinks truck with him. <laughs> Bob gonna bury that money with him, Jack. 
Yeah, yeah, Bob gonna bury that money with him. You better believe it. All right, we got another guy, new guy in the building. We got Travis Bowles into the building. We want to welcome our uh, Travis Bowles to the uh, hangout. Hey, Travis, we're just a bunch of hardcore degenerates that get together and talk about this beautiful sport we love called boxing. Got only one rule around here, Travis. No hitting below the belt. That means we don't talk about nobody's mom up in here. Other than that, everything else is fair game. We want to welcome Travis uh, to the hardcore hangout. Uh, y'all make sure that y'all give him a hardcore welcome. His first chatterman is, I, I'm from the Rise podcast, buddy. Just come to show support. GTT, GTD tank over everybody. I agree with you. GPZ. Okay, okay, Miss Joette is in the building. What's up, little sis? She said, happy Thursday, Jay, and the chat. Happy Thursday back at you, little sis. To be honest, I think Shakur should stay with Bob for at least a few more fights. Okay. Why is that, Wim? Tell us why. Why you, why, why, why you want him to stay? I just don't think Bob want to do the big fights, man. That's just my opinion. I, I don't think he want to do the big fights, man. I even heard him say it. Bob said, and I quote, I'd rather buy a ticket to it instead of uh, promote it. He said, I'd rather buy a ticket, man. And he was talking about Tank and Shakur or somebody like that, if I'm not mistaken. I remember that. I remember that that uh interview vividly he said man i prefer to just buy a ticket to the fight opposed to uh promoting it and i bet he meant that yeah let me tell you something man one thing about it old budrick tore tore a hole in uh, uh bob man yeah he he tore a hole in bob man yeah 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 one thing i can say about terrence crawford shrewd business man man yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he out business uh Bob Arum. Yeah, 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 yeah. He out business Bob Arum, didn't he? Bob say as much money he lost on Bud because Bud made sure he got guarantees. Yeah, Bud got guarantees in a minimum amount that Bud was getting every fight was three million. How many fights did he have with Bob? Yeah, the minimum amount that bob uh that bud got per fight was three million that ain't nothing to whistle dixie at jack yeah 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 bob look, look bud is scrap you better believe it yeah 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 hey he wasn't tripping off the back end because he knew he wasn't getting none so he made sure he got all his up front before he walked into that ring event jack smart man hey smart man i ain't I, 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 I ain't got no hey and when he negotiated for that spence fight he got everything that he wanted he got everything that he wanted man he said how do you lose money on bud when he was stopping everyone he fought because the pay-per-view sales weren't selling. What are you talking about, Troy? You trolling again? You trolling again? I ain't never heard Bob say he lost money on nobody else but Bud. He's never said, well, I've never heard him one time say he lost any other money or any other fighter. He was not interested in keeping Bud at all. Not one bit. <laughs> yeah gps he say bud was having conversations with mayweather he damn sure wasn't no fool i believe that uh miss joe say we're uh missing some likes y'all uh come on and smash the like button as soon as possible please and thank you matter of fact i'm one of them let me not be a, a hypocrite let me go in there and smash because i appreciate the show so uh, i'm going to hit it my if i'm gonna hit it twice i'm gonna hit it from the uh from the uh, uh bam okay i just it just hit okay say 33 watching 32 likes okay 
I just did it with the JBT. Now I'm gonna switch over and go to uh, hardcore boxing and uh, do it one more again. One more again. All right, I just tied it at 33. We at 35 now. Appreciate that, little sis, for getting us back in order. Appreciate you for getting us in order. Thank you. Please and thank you. Forgive me. The Zoomverse TWT. What up, Zoomverse? Say what's goody with you, Jay. Hope all is well. Blessings to you and yours, my guy. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Uh, uh cash sports just put the link in the chat uh if you uh if you have not subscribed to the uh 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 uh, uh jbt please govern yourselves accordingly yeah 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 please govern yourselves accordingly <laughs> mama deuce i thought i was gonna be timing the mf out tonight <laughs> I love that woman. She is so funny, yo. Oh, my goodness. Nah, put your blicky back in your pocket. Put it back in your pocket, Mama Do. We got eight minutes. We got eight minutes. I think they can last without getting hit with an 80, with, without getting hit with an 86. Miss Joe say, hello, Do. You are absolutely correct, sir. They always deserve to get it. But I love it when you do it cuss it just so funny <laughs> papa doing the building salute to just do boxing what's up my guy always a pleasure meant to see the just dudes in the house bringing that straight doism over here yeah 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 put that straight doism on them <laughs> Grant Oliver say, put that blicky up, Mama Do. <laughs> she said, damn, let me tuck my blicky back in my pocket. <laughs> put the blicky away. Put the blicky away, good sis. She said, let's talk about B. Diddy. Needs to shut up and let Devin be his own man. That ain't going to happen. If that was the issue, we wouldn't even know who Devin is. Dev, yeah, yeah, we wouldn't even know who Devin is if uh, uh, B. Diddy stopped talking. So that ain't going to happen. That man going to talk until he blew in the face. Yes, indeed. He going to talk until he blew in the face. You better believe that. And I ain't going back and forth with none of y'all about it. Mike Mather, appreciate all your support for real, bro. I got some real supporters for real. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We all do. And I appreciate each and every one of them. I talk about y'all all the time. I, I, I tell people in a minute, I said they treat me better than real family do. You, you, you better believe it. <laughs> I, it's 854. What's in them pots tonight, man? I need to know what you got in them pots tonight. I got I, I got a, uh, a chicken I put in the slow cooker. I got a uh, chicken in the slow cooker, some white rice and some black beans. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I got going on. I got the uh, uh, chicken in the slow cooker, baked chicken in the slow cooker. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some white rice and some black beans. Yes, indeedy. Actually, it's like a curry chicken type thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, 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 I put curry in it in the slow cooker yeah 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 so it's like a kind of carry chicken but not all the ingredients i would normally put in there cash sports say he got bacon and eggs man ain't nothing like breakfast for dinner i always love breakfast for dinner for sure the zoom verse say i got spanish yellow rice with some birria i don't even know what birria is sounds good uh Tr travis says i'm cooking some chicken and ma i Chicken and ma, okay. I don't know what that is either, but sounds good. Mac and cheese, okay, mac and cheese, okay. Naeem the Dream say, we got beef ribs tonight with my girl's famous noodles. I was just looking at some beef ribs, and I didn't pick them up, man. 
Yeah, yeah, it didn't look like they had enough meat on it, man. So I, I didn't get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I like beef ribs, man. Yes, indeedy. But I like to put them in the uh, smoker, though. Say my mom used to stay doing breakfast for dinner. Make me want to back into the A. Hey, we used to have breakfast for dinner because it was cheaper. That's when you know you was poor back in the day. You had breakfast for dinner, but we just thought it was fun. Nah. Yeah, breakfast was just cheaper than dinner. So we had breakfast for dinner. <laughs> I figure out all this stuff now and as I'm older. Yeah, 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 yeah. I figure out all this stuff now and as I'm older. Miss Joette said we had lasagna, garlic bread, and salad. Yo, that sounds good a minute. I ain't had no good lasagna in a long time. Grant Oliver said, exactly. Poor as a Mickey flick. <laughs> hey, for sure, man. That's what breakfast at dinner meant back in my house back in the day, Jack. <laughs> look, look. We were so poor, man. We used to have chicken necks and chicken backs. Have you ever tried to eat a chicken back or a chicken neck? It ain't no meat of it on it at all. We in old school said, so I got me a hungry man's. Damn, I ain't heard a hungry man. TV dinner. People still eat TV dinners. Damn, hungry Jack. You gobble them down and the plate comes back full hungry Jack. I remember that commercial. Mama do say, oh, I want to make some seafood lasagna. I ain't never had no seafood lasagna, but damn, that sound good. Damn, that sound good. What you put in your seafood lasagna, Mama do? She be having all types of extravagant type meals over there, man. GPZ say it is fun for yourself tonight. <laughs> I might sneak, I might sneak one of the kids Zatarans TV dinners. <laughs> I ain't no Zatarain had TV dinners, boy. Y'all updating me on a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, I already knew your wife was at work, Cass, when you said you was having bacon and eggs. <laughs> Troy Graham said curry chicken backs and lemon pepper lemon pepper chicken necks. Okay. <laughs> okay, you dressing up a poor man's meal. All right. <laughs> you gonna add curry to it. Don't add just because you add curry to it, don't make no more meat on that back or them necks, man. At all. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ain't nothing on a chicken neck, man. I throw that away now, man. <laughs> to leave credit hands, I ate my share of chicken backs. Yes, indeed. Damn, Miss Joette said, I hate any kind of seafood. I'm just not into it. Lord have mercy. Girl, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? How you don't like seafood? Mm, mm, mm. That's all right. You save your man a lot of money then. Yes, indeed. Zoom verse, he, he said, Byra is slow cooked beef chuck or short rib season with like 18 different spices and three different dried peppers. Yeah, you're going to have to send me, you're going to have to send me that recipe right there, them 18 different spices. Send me that. Yeah, DM me that for show. GP, he said, what is chicken backs? The back of a chicken, man. It literally is what it said, the back of a chicken. <laughs> William Oskew say I see food and I eat it mm -mm. I don't know what's wrong with y'all women that don't eat seafood Lord have mercy I love me a seafood extravaganza but yeah 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 it's 9 o'clock y'all know what time it is man Seafood lasagna is crab meat, shrimp, and this time they're asking for salmon to be added. Lord, that sounds good, a minute. Well, listen here, man. Uh, that's the end of the show, man. And uh, it's time for us to rise to the occasion and slide on over to the Rise podcast and see what they got cooking for us tonight, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go on over there to the Rise and see what they got for us. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. I see y'all on over there, man. I'm going to go in there and make my plate real quick. We hit my brother BVO real quick, and uh, uh yeah, man. I see y'all over there. Other than that, it's your boy Jay Hardcore, Hardcore Boxing News, and I'm out of here. Peace.